So today we're going to be taking a look at this brand new capture card I received from Cloner Alliance. So shout out to Cloner Alliance for sending this out and allowing me to test out the product and see what all it comes with. And a lot of you guys like to ask me how I record my Steam Deck gameplay, how I can capture my screen in different ways. And this is how you do that. Now this capture card does record in 60 FPS up to 1080p and has a 4K 60 Hz pass through. You can stream, record, and capture audio as well using this capture card. It does work on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you want to use it on. Obviously, I cover a lot of Steam Deck content here, so we'll be testing it out with the Steam Deck. We're just going to go ahead and open it, see what's in the box, and see what the software is like and everything like that. Let's get into it. This particular model is called the Flint 4K P Plus. Up top, you get a guide on how to plug everything in. Underneath is the capture card itself, which is actually pretty small. On one side, you have your HDMI in and out. On the other, you have a USB-C port as well as some audio jacks. It also includes air vents on both sides. In the box, you also get a USB-C cable, an HDMI cable, and a couple of adapters that will allow you to record a variety of devices such as phones and cameras. It is worth noting there was no lightning cable adapter for any iPhone users. As far as setting up goes, the first thing I did was plug in my USB-C cable into my desktop PC. Then I made sure my Steam Deck was connected to a dock and plugged my HDMI cable from the dock to the HDMI in port on the capture card. Your second HDMI cable will plug in from the capture card to your monitor or TV that you're playing on. Here's what it looks like once you have all of that plugged in. I would like to mention that if you want to record audio from your headphones, you do have to plug in your headphones to the microphone jack on the capture card. With everything now connected, I can show you how I have my desktop set up and how it looks when you're recording things and things like that. The cool thing about this capture card is that you don't need any drivers, it just recognizes it and you can go straight into OBS and it'll pop up in there. I would also like to mention you do get some included software if you register your device on the QR code that's in the box. There's like an MP4 converter and some other stuff. And then we have the Flint 4K P audio controller. And on here you can basically control the different volumes of the things you have plugged into the capture card itself. I haven't had to use this for anything, so I'm just going to go straight into OBS and show you how I have that set up and how you can add the capture card once you're in OBS if you're starting fresh. Now switching over to OBS, which is my streaming and recording software of choice, you can see that I already have everything set up and added on here onto my scene. And what you're looking at right here in the background or in the preview window is actually Hogwarts Legacy being mirrored from the Steam Deck. I will also mention the latency is so good from this, I could actually almost just play from the preview window from how little latency there is between what I'm doing on the Steam Deck and what it's showing on OBS. So you'll see that I have my Flint 4K added here, display captures now being shown, that's my camera, and then the mic that I'm currently using is right here. And just by adding the Flint 4K, the audio was also added along with it. And you'll see here that I have it muted just so it doesn't interfere with what I'm doing, you know, for the video. Now that you saw how I have everything set up, I'm going to show you how I added that to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new scene and I'll call it Steam Deck Capture. Okay. And then it's going to be blank. I will also mention that I should disable it from this one so that it doesn't tweak out whenever I'm messing with the other scene. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this here and then switch over back to Steam Deck Capture. We're gonna add a new video capture device and I'll call it Flint 4KP. You will see that it's already on here because of my other scene, but I'm just gonna do this as if I've never added it before. Press OK. And then on here, you have a drop down menu from different devices you can pick. The Cloner Alliance capture card is gonna be labeled live streaming video device. So we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that's good. And then you can scroll down here and mess with these settings if, if you want, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is for default. And right now default for me is 1920 by 1080 p 60 Hertz output, even though the Steam Deck is only doing like 1280 by 800, the stream itself will be outputted in this quality right here, or what it looks like on OBS will be in this quality right here. So default resolution, you can mess with all that, FPS, whatever. I'm just gonna leave everything as is and press okay. You're going to want to make sure you're picking up your audio as well. And initially when adding this, I didn't have audio. You'll see here that I'm moving around in the game and nothing's being captured. No sounds in the game. In order to fix that, I just went into the device again and scrolled all the way down, went to audio output mode and hit this checkbox right here, use custom audio device. And then it gave me the option to select basically my headphones, which are plugged into the capture card itself right here. Microphone, live, whatever streaming audio device, select. Hit OK. 
and now we're actually capturing audio from the game and I'm gonna mute it just in case it's being louder than whatever I'm saying right now. Important detail I thought I should mention is you're gonna wanna make sure your Steam Deck is outputting its audio to the right place, which is the capture card. So for me, since I'm using Windows 11, I'm gonna minimize this game real quick and then I will go to the audio options over here. I'm gonna wanna make sure I'm selected onto SKK AMD High Definition Audio Device. For me, that is the capture card, so that's how I know the output for the audio is going actually into the capture card. If you're selected onto your Steam Deck speakers, you won't be capturing any audio on OBS, so just make sure you're selected on the capture card in your Steam Deck audio output settings. I don't know how it looks on SteamOS, so you're gonna wanna look into that. I don't really use SteamOS. So that's why I'm showing it how it looks on Windows. Also, if you're not seeing this as a selectable option, you're gonna wanna restart your Steam Deck while it's still plugged into the capture card and everything. Just give your Steam Deck a restart and you should see the option then. I noticed that if I plug in the capture card while the Steam Deck is on, I won't have the option there until I restart the system. But yeah, just an important detail for recording audio. So that is pretty much how you add the capture card into a new scene. And like I said, you can just edit your scene however you want. If you have any stream overlays or anything like that, you can add those here as well. But this is my current scene for when I'm personally capturing Steam Deck or streaming it. And if you go to my stream from yesterday, I was actually using this capture card uh, in order to get that stream out and it had audio, camera, everything worked pretty much well. You're just gonna wanna be careful when you're switching between scenes here. It does tend to mess up the previous scene you were on if you have the capture card on multiple scenes. So what I do is I just deactivate it and reactivate it over here. And it should be here, there you go. So if you're using multiple scenes, just be mindful of that. Um, unless you have a way of seamlessly having that go into the next scene. I personally haven't messed too much with that. I just stay on one scene and kind of go from here. But I just thought I'd point that out as well. Now, I think that's pretty much everything as far as setting this up and adding it to OBS. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All of the instructions are also, you know, on the instruction manual in the box, except for the OBS stuff. That's stuff that you're going to have to figure out on your own or look into a video or just use your common sense but it was pretty easy for me to figure out without looking at anything, just based on, you know, previous experience with using OBS and adding different devices. But as far as plugging the device to my computer and just using it and being able to record and stream, I had no issues there. So I would definitely recommend this to anyone that's looking for a capture card to record their Steam Deck or their Switch, PlayStation, whatever it is. I did show myself using this capture card with the Steam Deck because it's what I mostly cover content on at the moment but you can use this on your PlayStation or whatever device that you play from. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. I will leave a link to this product in the description. Once again, thank you Cloner Alliance for sending this out and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.